Wow, Okorocha in tears, under hostage and house arrest, cries for help. If there is anything that is more than house arrest or hostage, I think that would have been good and better for someone like Rochas or Krocha. I'm telling you, I'm not hiding my mouth. I just have to be frank to us and be realistic. Okrocha doesn't deserve any sympathy whatsoever. At all, it doesn't. Everybody knows Okrocha and what he did in his administration. So there should be no any form of sympathy for him in any way. Because Okrocha single-handedly finished Imo. Do you understand? He finished Imo. So why the worry? Let's check the content. This is evening news. Rochas Okorocha, one of the presidential aspirants under the auspices of the All Progressive Congress APC, presidential aspirant and former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha has cried out to Nigerians after the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC stormed his residence in Abuja. Rochas said, I am under hostage. I would say the EFCC is at my house, both the back and the front, and I would say I have inquired if they have an arrest warrant, and I am supposed to be getting ready for screening. I don't know what is really happening. It is unfortunate that this is happening here. I am trying to address a press conference, and of course, the EFCC cannot stop the press from coming into my premises. They are inside my compound, but the press is coming inside my house to interview me. They can't stop them, he insisted. This was earlier today when EFCC invaded his house to prevent him from going for the screening of the APC, which was scheduled for the same time. He was held down on various frivolous issues. That serves him right. You see, um, politicians are the ones doing themselves. They are the ones doing themselves. Look at it. Why is it that the day he will be entertaining the press, which will help him to boost his chances of becoming uh, an aspirant for the presidential race, why is it that it is... Uh, that very time and day that the EFCC now know that they will come to his house to um, get him arrested. Hope you're getting my gist. So, definitely, the game is between him and his fellow politicians. So, they are the one doing themselves. They are doing themselves clearly. You understand? So that serves him right. I don't think there should be any sympathy in any way. Because Rochas Okrocha deserves anything his opponent does to him. Hope you understand. He deserves it. Look at the whooping sum of money collected from him at first. As if that wasn't enough, look at the giant hotel Okorocha actually built for his wife. Hmm? As if that's still not enough, look at the giant school he built and, 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 and claim that he is the owner of the university. And he's still claiming and Rochas Okorocha deserves what he is going through. So if there is anything that is worse than house arrest, Rochas deserves it. There should, there should be no sympathy. No sympathy. Look at, look at all the things collected from him. 
collected from him. He said that um, uh, he made all this money he is spending before he joined politics. Lies. Lies. Which Nigerian man or woman will come out and say that he has the, all the money before joining politics? Who? We say so. So he should not just try it. He should not just feed anybody with his filthy lies. With his filthy lies. Because if there is anyone that deserves to be held down, it is Rochas Okorocha. Because he deserves it. He's a bloody fucking liar. Mm -hmm. He deserves it. So, my people, let us not be shocked at um, the FCC visit to Rochas. He has been a target. He has been a target. Do you understand? So let's hear from you to know what your um, your opinion um, could be. Don't forget your comments still are very much important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.